We are very excited to be joined by a special guest, Tucson Roadrunners forward, Michael Carconi. Michael, welcome to the show. Thanks so much for joining us. Thanks for having me, guys. I appreciate it. Michael, we're going to talk about your record in a minute, but let's uh, let's just check in on the Roadrunners a little bit. Uh, what's the mood of the team down there with 14 games left, and you're in a, quite a playoff chase with four teams vying for two spots remaining in the Pacific Division? Uh, we're obviously in a in a good spot uh, being in the playoffs here, and, and it is tight. So um, you know everyone's in good spirits. Um, you know we kind of know what we have to do. There's a lot of positive talks around here. Just um, you know to do do our job, and and uh, good things will happen. So uh, no, it's it's been great, and uh, yeah. Speaking of uh, doing your job, um, I know it's part of life in the AHL, but how difficult is it as a team to keep any sort of rhythm going when Players are going up the I-10, back down the I-10. You just don't never know what the lineup's going to look like from night to night. Yeah, I think it's uh, uh, definitely difficult. But, you know, the more you play in this league, the more you understand and get used to um, guys stepping in. And um, everyone's got a bigger role when that happens. And I think we've done such a great job of that this year, um, you know, putting ourselves in good positions. Uh, obviously, the Coyotes are in a, in a spot here where, you know, that's going to happen. So... Um, you know, I, I think it's uh, everyone's done a great job, and uh, we just we got 15 games. We got to keep rolling with it, and uh, just you know, next man up. Well, obviously, sorry, math oh. is not my strong suit, so I said 14. My bad. <laughs> so obviously, the reason I, we, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> obviously the reason we wanted to talk to you today is you officially beat the Tucson Roadrunners franchise record in points in a season, passing Chris Mueller. You scored your 68th point. This past week, um, just what a crazy record to achieve. You're you're having a great season in Tucson, um, and you were teammates with a lot of the guys you passed up at the top: Chris Mueller, Matthias Michelli, Braden Berg, Michael Bunting, Dylan Strom. Maybe <laughs> yeah. I don't know. <laughs> uh, just have you have any of those guys reached out to you? Did you talk to any of them since you uh, beat their records? Uh, none of those guys specifically, but it definitely. Uh feels good to beat Chris. I got to play with Chris a little bit drunk. So, <laughs> um, but no, it's, uh, I've had many people reach out uh, over the last day or two there. So uh, no, it's been, it's been great. Um, kind of glad it's out of the way now and I could just focus on the playoffs and uh, the Tucson Roadrunners and get, you know, getting to where we need to be. Why specifically Chris? <laughs> oh, just, I mean, I don't know if you guys know Chris at all. Um, you know, he might not be too happy about that. So <laughs> I love it. But Mike, one of the things that we, we've talked about this a little bit already is guys getting called up to the big club and that you're, you know, not only your line mates change, but your teammates change and the vibe changes and everything changes all the time. How are you able to stay consistently on the offensive side of the score sheet when everything is constantly in flux? You know what? I've been fortunate enough to, you know, be put in those situations, um, you know, where you do have the opportunities to whatever collect points or, or give yourself a chance to collect points. Um, so you know, it's just, it's just kind of the next man up, and and the guy. Honestly, I have to give credit to the guys that have stepped up and, and done that because without them, you know, it, it, the puck doesn't go in the net. So, um, yeah, honestly, it's just it's just trying to find that chemistry with your teammates and. Um, trying to just focus on the positives and, and not get down on yourself. And I uh, thought I've done a good job and the rest of the team's done a great job of doing that. So you mentioned that you're kind of relieved that this is done because you were on a really fast pace there. Then it kind of slowed down maybe in the last few weeks. Do you feel like, you know, now that you're, you've kind of made this name for yourself, that you've been marked by other players on other teams, maybe they're focusing more on defending you. And, you know, we saw things get a little bit chippy against Milwaukee. Have you, have you felt that over this past stretch of games that, you know, guys are really gunning for you? Um, you know what, I, I wouldn't say they're like gunning for me. I definitely think there's, you know, parts of my game where, uh, you kind of know where to sit on, uh, like maybe on the dot, but, um, like other than that, it, it honestly, not much has changed, but the game definitely gets, it gets harder during this time of year. Like systematically there's, um, you know, teams are, are more structured, uh, which, which makes it harder to, to produce. So, uh, I would say. The only thing that's really changed is maybe the power play 
play and, and kind of just maybe keeping a guy over there so I can't get shots off. But uh, other than that, no, it's just it's just the way the game goes during the year. Do you remember the actual play on which you broke the record? I don't know how you aware you were of it in the moment. Yeah, I wasn't too sure if I was going to get it because the guy, uh, one of the players on Milwaukee kind of turned around and swung at it. And uh, I I basically, I was looked after the game and I got the point. So I was like, okay, I guess I got the point. <laughs> you wait for the official score sheet to come in to make sure you got the point. Love it. Um, I'm curious, like you, you kind of touched on it already, but what does holding this record mean to you personally? Um, I honestly, to me, uh, you know, when I got myself in the position, uh, you know, I guess halfway through the year, uh, and just seeing the names that were up there and, and how talented the guys are that, you know, are up there. You got Stromer who plays in the NHL, Michelli's up there doing great, uh, Mules is good buddy and uh you know that one i that one i really wanted but uh um <laughs> yeah i just those guys are as players and, and just being in the, you know the same category as them was kind of the biggest thing and um you know yeah it was uh it's just, it's just so nice to get it over with and focus on other things and uh kind of have your mind in in one one place other than you know uh, you know uh, individual success so uh i just yeah just glad it's over with so you talked about Matias Michelli, and last year you guys played a lot together. He's been a big part of your point streak. He was in on a lot of those goals. Uh, one, do you keep in touch with them? Like, I know you guys were really close as teammates and line mates last year and, and you, throughout your time there in Tucson. Do you keep in touch with them now? Do you follow what he's doing there and vice versa? Did, does he follow you chasing the record down in Tucson? Yeah, I think earlier on, um, you know, he was texting me a lot. Uh, but I think uh, he might have lost my phone number, so I hope he's seeing this right. <laughs> I, I don't, I don't know if the NHL got to him or what, but uh, I haven't got a text in a while. Call uh, down, Matias. Hope he's, yeah, get back to him. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> he's big time now, uh, McCalder. Right. Since he's no longer communicating with you, I'll be sure to deliver that message tomorrow when I go to Mullet. So, uh, I wanted to talk about the the AHL scoring race as well. You're also on top of the AHL in points right now. This has become a really tight race. Does it mean something you to be in contention for that? Would you like to win? I think it's called the Solenberger Trophy or even the Willie Marshall Trophy for goals because you're in the running for that as well. Yeah, it would, it would obviously be great. Um, you know, there is some tough competition. Um, you know, TJ Tyne and, um, you know, back-to-back -back MVP of the league. So uh, to be anywhere close to him is uh, is definitely special. So uh, obviously it's in the back of my mind, um, you know, but uh, I think the biggest thing for me was, uh, you know, the, the team record, I guess, and, um, you know, trying to pass that and, and get us to playoffs. Honestly, that's, that's the biggest focus right now where, you know, we'd like to have a little bit more of a gap, but, uh, you know, uh, it is what it is. And, and we got 14, 15 games left. So uh, getting us there. But, but yeah, I definitely back of my back of my mind. Um, you know, you were obviously up here earlier this season. We've talked with you at the beginning of the Roadrunner season. How do you feel like your game has evolved um, this year as you, you know, continue to help the Roadrunners in their playoff push, but also for on an individual level, you know, help propel yourself to hopefully one day be part of the NHL roster? You know what? I've had so much support down here uh, from the coaching staff and just kind of working on my game. Um, I got to give a lot of credit to, to Slains and, and Potsy for that. And uh, I think Jay Verity also played a huge role in uh, kind of not letting me cheat the game so much and, and kind of holding me to the same standard as everyone else. Um, you know, and adding that, that grittiness, uh, to my game so um you know i, I got to give credit to those guys and then uh the development staff as well coming down and working with me and uh, obviously those nhl games help as well too just giving you the confidence to know you can play there and whatnot so um yeah i, I hope i answered your question i couldn't really hear it there but uh, oh sorry yeah, no yeah that was perfect yeah it, and mike one last one from me you played nine games with the Coyotes so far this season. We've talked about the AHL record. We've talked about the AHL playoffs. But you've seen the revolving door now between Tucson and Arizona. We talked to Bill Armstrong. He said it's going to be a steady stream of players getting opportunities. 
Is there a nervous anticipation for you? Like, are you waiting by the phone or you're going, God, when is it going to be me? Um, and how do you separate that from, gosh, I also want to be part of this playoff run. Like, what is it like, honestly, day to day for you? You know, it's, it's challenging. Uh, I'm going to be, you know, completely honest with you. It's definitely challenging. Um, you know, you do hope that uh, you do get that call. And, uh, but I think you got to understand that there's other guys that deserve opportunities as well. And, um, you know, all you can do is, is just play hockey at the end of the day. And uh, if you get the call, you get the call. Um, if not, it's, you move forward. Um, you know, everyone, everyone deserves a chance at the end of the day. I hope everyone gets a chance. I know I still remember my first game last year and how special that was to me and um, how much it meant to me. And, and uh, you know, you work so hard your entire life trying to get there. And, um, yeah, it's just it's, – it's just uh, it's a special moment, and I honestly hope every guy in that room gets a chance to play in the NHL. And uh, obviously, I want it to be me, um, but uh, yeah, it's, uh, I'm okay with uh, other people going up as well. Yeah. Before we let you go, just to, just to reiterate this, um, I know you're not probably thinking about it too much now, as you said, you're just relieved to have it over with. But as you continue to rack up points down there. This is going to be a pretty cool thing to carry with you for the rest of your life. It's it's pretty cool to hold records. So congratulations once again on doing that, and we'll see where the point total ends up when when the season wraps for the Roadrunners. Yeah, thank you. I appreciate that. Well, Michael, thank you so much for taking some time out of your morning. Um, good luck in the playoff chase here. We'll be following along. And thanks again, Adrian Denny, for getting this all set up. So thanks so much, Michael. Yeah, thank you, guys. Have a good day. Thanks.